Aloha, welcome to Finnegan's 411. Recently in the paper and as well as on news reports on TV, there's been some discussion about how in the Finance Committee on February 10th, I questioned the HSTA president, Will Okabe, about the teachers taking a 5% cut. What I wanted to do is bring some context to this so that you know exactly what I meant. During the course of the testifying, I did bring Mr. Akabe up, and he had mentioned to a couple representatives prior to me questioning him that originally the HSTA and all the other unions offered to take a 5% pay cut, that they agreed to all take a 5% pay cut, but he says that the governor rejected that offer. So now that we're in a pretty contentious situation and we are trying to find funds from all over the place, whether it be hurricane funds or, um, or rainy day funds or raising taxes or whatever we need to do to bring back furlough days, um, what, we were, what we were asking Mr. Willow Kabe is if he would return back to his offer or the HSTA's offer of taking a 5% cut. Therefore, we could go back to not having any furlough days. They could take their part, just like every other um, public worker is doing, taking some kind of cut or furlough. And through that, we would have a little bit less that we would have to come to the table in order to reinstate furlough Fridays. So the problem that we face now is as we're sitting in committee and we're reviewing this bill on the rainy day fund, it has $50 million in this fund. And what we were trying to do, because during the testifying, there were people from all different parts of uh, human services, whether it be working with the homeless or the elderly or children. And they were talking about how they also have needs for the use of the rainy day fund. So what this was truly about was talking about how we can all come together, do make our shared sacrifices, and try to get kids back to um, school on Fridays. Um, there was much more that was taking place. Unfortunately, we don't have a recording of the testimony, but if you should want to take a look at our face pa uh, Facebook page, go to facebook.com slash lynn.finnegan, and that's spelled L-Y-N-N dot F-I-N-N-E-G-A-N, and we will post some of the articles on there and anything that might come up regarding education. My heart is for education and for making it a better situation for students, teachers, and principals at the school level. And you will find that most of the things I share with you is all to help the schools make decisions and address the problems at the school level instead of having us here at the legislature or the governor or the board of education or others involved making the decisions for the core group of the schools at the, at the school level. So thank you for coming to Finnegan's 411, and I'll give you another update soon. Mahalo.